Hello everyone, welcome back to the Celebrity Issue channel. Now we will discuss about one of the most iconic moments in music history, the Beatles immortalized themselves on the cover of their famous Abbey Road album. As John, Paul, George, and Ringo strode across the zebra crossing outside Abbey Road Studios, they unknowingly created a scene ripe for intrigue. Amidst the bustling London street, a mystery man seized the opportunity to photobomb the legendary band. Who was this enigmatic figure? Let's check it out. Mystery Man on the Beatles' famous Abbey Road album pulls off world's greatest photobomb. The most iconic photobomb of all time may be seen on the Beatles' iconic Abbey Road album cover. The Fab Four are shown on the 1969 album cover crossing a zebra crossing in northwest London in a line. A mysterious man is also seen in the backdrop standing by the side of the road. The mystery man, seen on the cover of the Beatles' iconic Abbey Road record turned out to be a part of the greatest photobomb ever captured on camera. Everybody has enjoyed jumping into pictures when they're out and about, but without even trying, this person made music history. The Beatles are seen crossing a road in a line on the cover of their 1969 album Abbey Road. However, if you look closely, you can see a man in the background who is standing beside the road. He didn't intend to be there, but he's one of the few individuals caught in the moment. Years later, this man, clad in a white shirt and brown coat, was located after other people came forward with identifications. In actuality, he is an American traveler named Paul Cole, who was anticipating his spouse at the time of the photo. I told her, I've seen enough museums, he said to the mirror. I'll just hang out here and observe the activities outside. At that moment, he saw something strange about the four men crossing the zebra crossing. Paul McCartney was the only one without shoes. I just happened to look up, and I saw those guys crossing the street like a line of ducks, the man said. A group of crazy people, as I dubbed them, as they appeared somewhat extreme at that point in time. You did not go through London in your bare feet. Later Paul saw himself in the backdrop of an album cover, to his amazement. He declared, as soon as I saw the album, I knew it was me. I was wearing my brand new sports jacket and my recently purchased shell-rimmed glasses. I said to my children, take out your magnifying glass and you'll see me. Paul Cole unfortunately passed away in 2008 at the age of 98. Okay guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.